Hello, this is Daniel Plays. My name is Daniel and welcome to yet another Minecraft video. In this one, I'm going to show you how to install the incredibly cool mod called Sodium, which should drastically increase your FPS. That's right, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Sodium, which is known for actually boosting performance, especially on low-end PCs. Before we get started, just a few things, there will be a link down below in the description with a lot of useful links that you're going to need in this video. Of course, you can look everything up yourself, I will show you how to do that as well, but I'm just saying there's an easier way, you can just use the links down below in the description. Also, if you enjoyed this video already, that would be great, please let me know by hitting that thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this one. So to get started, what you want to do is open up your Minecraft launcher, I just need to tell you guys this because for some people it's just very simple and they've already launched minecraft 1.18 once and everything will just be fine but for some people it won't install and then i get comments from people saying why can't i install fabric why can't i install sodium and that's probably got to do something with the fact that you've never actually launched minecraft 1.18 without sodium and fabric so what you want to do is just select latest release 1.18 and click play to make sure it is downloaded to your PC. So once it's made it to the main menu, just click quit game. And now we can get started downloading and installing Sodium for Minecraft 1.18. So the first thing you need to do is download and install Fabric MC. You can do so by going to the link down below in the description. Like I said, there will be a link there with all of the useful links in one post so you don't have to look anything up yourself. But you can also look it up yourself obviously and just search for Fabric Mod Loader. You come over to fabricmc.net and then it's very well hidden. It says download here and you can click the word here. Then you click download installer. If you're in Windows, if you're in any other platform, you click download this installer. But we're just going to use this one. I mean, I'm also on Windows, so that's what we're going to do. It will download this fabric installer, which you just click. If you follow this tutorial right after 1.18 or shortly after 1.18 was released, then you may get this warning because the fabric update is actually very fresh as well. So it probably hasn't been approved by Microsoft yet, which means you'll get this warning and it will only tell you to not run this, but you can click more info and then run anyway. All I'm saying is after a while, after a few days, after publishing this video, you probably don't even have to do this anymore and this will not appear. But if it does, you can just click more info and click run anyway. There you have it. This is the latest installer for Fabric. And as you can see, it's selected 1.18. You need to check create profile here. So it should be selected by default. Don't change that. Click install right here. It might show you a pop up for which launcher you want to use. So if you use the old Windows 32 one, at least that's what it's going to be called. You click that one. And if you actually use the Microsoft one, you click that one and it will install it for the correct launcher. After that, you can just click OK and close the installer. So the next thing obviously is to download and install Sodium. So you can once again use the post down below in the description or look it up yourself. Just search for Sodium Mod and you will find this CurseForge page where if you scroll down a little bit, you'll find an alpha or in the future, it will just be a beta or a full release. You click the download icon under 1.18 right here. You'll be redirected to a download page where you have to wait five seconds and then it will download Sodium for you. Because it is a .jar file, you have to click keep right here. And now what you wanna do is actually go to your downloads. So what you do now is you go over to your search bar, you type in percent app data percent, you hit enter. So you'll see a bunch of folders. The more programs you have installed on your PC, the more folders there'll be in here and now the convenient thing here is that the folder for minecraft is called dot minecraft so that way it will always be shown at the top you double click it and if you've never installed mods before there will not be a mods folder and you need to create one by right clicking somewhere hovering new click folder name it mods lowercase that's the folder fabric is going to be looking for you double click the newly created mods folder and now what you want to do is go over to sodium fabric mc you drag it over into the mods folder. It doesn't matter if it doesn't show the Java icon here. For many people, it probably won't because I also get a lot of questions when we actually do need this to show up correctly. But for this mod, even if it shows up as a WinRAR or an Internet Explorer or Microsoft Edge file, all of those things happen. Don't worry about that. It will run anyway. So now you can close all of these folders, open up your Minecraft launcher. It should be selected automatically, but if it's not, then be sure to go over to the bottom left corner, 
Select your profile from this list. Should be a short list if you've never installed Fabric before or any other modded versions. Just select the one that says Fabric Loader 1.18. You select that one and then click play. You'll be shown this pop up if you actually play anything but vanilla Minecraft for the first time. So the next time you launch Fabric, you won't see this again, but the first time you will. So you have to read this and see for yourself if you do understand the risks once you've read that and actually understand the risks of modded Minecraft, you can tick this box right here and click play. Here we are in Minecraft 1.18. As you can clearly tell from the bottom left corner text here, it says Minecraft 1.18 slash fabric modded. And if we actually join a server or start up a single player world, you'll see that the settings menu has changed. So Ash can clearly tell from the world generation, the terrain generation, this is clearly Minecraft 1.18. And if we hit escape and go over to options in video settings, as you can see, this looks totally different because this is sodium. So with this tutorial, you now have successfully installed sodium and given yourself a huge performance boost, especially for lower end systems. Sodium can be very, very effective at increasing FPS and reducing lag spikes because sometimes you have enough FPS, but every few seconds you get this lag spike which you know over the course of an hour will make the game just insanely annoying to play. So in the settings menu you can view the general settings and it will also tell you how big the performance impact of the setting is. So obviously render distance is one of those settings that if you reduce it enough it will bring back a lot of FPS. And then there's the quality tab for your fancy graphics or fast graphics etc the performance tab, and there are some other settings here that you normally do not really have that much access to with normal Minecraft video settings. So I'm gonna click apply, and then you can see we've greatly reduced the render distance. It's that easy with the click of a button, and that's how you install Sodium for Minecraft 1.18. So that's been it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you actually successfully installed Sodium for Minecraft 1.18. If you need more help installing Fabric, for example, I have another tutorial that will pop up in the top right corner right now that will show you in some more detail and with slower steps how to install Fabric properly. Apart from that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up. And then as always, I will of course catch you in the next one. See ya.